we are the vault. So we want to have the secrets to success. We want this is what this interview, this show is all about. What are your secrets that we can put in a vault to your success that you could share? Well, like I said, I think number one um, for me really is my faith. I think um, I want to make sure that I'm on the right path. I want to make sure that um, I am following my destiny because it, it's very easy to compare yourself with others and try and be who everybody else is and copy everybody else. So I think one of the things really for me is um, stay in your lane um, and know that this is your path. And then also, uh, I would say as well, again, I touched on it, surrounding yourself with the right people. It re Honestly, I cannot tell you how key that is um, because I have had the wrong people in my circle and it's not been pleasant. Um, so I think that that is key is getting those, that circle of, of people that are there to support you. And, um, oh, what else would I say? Um, you know, my, my theme actually is about being bold, brave and beautiful. And so for me, I think that's how I want to live my life is, you know, being bold enough to, you know, step out uh, despite the fear and being brave enough to continue, you know, going throughout all the challenges and all the, the drama and um, everything that gets thrown at you and being beautiful enough to just see um, see the beauty of certain situations certain challenges um i think once you kind of like get to my age you know that um you've got enough experience to see that okay things might be a little bit ropey at the moment but they will work out in the end so just just spotting the beauty of of, of little things those small little things that sometimes we miss you know on our journey so yeah i think i think that's how i want to go forward in life and i think you know that will become more of the secret of my success over time it's just spending a life and living a life that is bold brave and beautiful i love that and talking about you mentioned you've had the wrong people in your circle but you've obviously had the right people in your circle I would love to ask you, in your inner circle, and this is really a bit of a, a cheeky question, but in your inner circle, who would you think would be a great guest for you to get into contact with me, for me to interview them for the vault? Because <laughs> you, could you give Oprah a call for me? Yeah. Oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, hi, Richard. <laughs> could, you, could you like speak to Rebecca? Would you like to be on the vault? <laughs> Who would you highly recommend? <laughs> well, obviously, you know, it's great knowing these kind of people. But what I try to, it's funny, like we just spoke about Richard Branson, like when I went on safari with him. Richard Branson is one of the most normal people, mm. honestly. He is so normal. He is so down to earth. He is so lovely that I, I think for me, sometimes there's a sense of, yes, they're celebrities. Yes, they're famous, but they're still just people at the mm. end of the day. They're no different really to you and I. They just get a bit more exposure <laughs> for what yeah. they do, you know? So, um, yeah, I, I, I it's, it's great to be connected to these kind of people, but for me, it needs to serve the bigger vision. You know, like I say, you get a few more likes on Instagram, Facebook and all that good stuff. But if it doesn't serve a bigger vision to help people, then I'm not really interested in knowing yeah. I'm, if I'm honest, doesn't really help the world. And I think that 